everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Rotype, this is City Skylines, and welcome to Asimi Bay. Asimi Bay is a map I created to kick off this Let's Play City Skyline series and I wanted to take my inspiration from the west coast of the United States, perhaps more specifically the coast of Oregon where you see large mountains, the Cascades, coming right to the ocean while being wonderfully wooded covered with evergreen trees. Now the baseline for this map is a height map I imported of Monterey Bay, California. That said, I make no promises to stay true to the real geography of the area, and in fact I have already taken a great number of liberties, such as introducing this stream you're seeing right now, which I don't think exists in the real Monterey Bay area. I've done these things to make the map fit my needs a little bit better, as well as the game engine. And by no means is this map done. In fact, as we go forward in this Let's Play, you'll notice that nothing is ever done. I may have completed an area only to go back to it several episodes later. And whether or not I show it, there will likely be small changes to almost the entire map at any given point in time. It's hard for me to sit back and look at an area and not find something that could be better, something that could represent what I'm trying to accomplish that much more accurately. To that end, I'm going to try to keep a consistent stream of screenshots. After every episode, I'm going to take a simtograph map of the city, and I'm going to try and keep you all informed, even if it doesn't make into the episode, what I've been doing, what I've been working on, and how things are progressing in the city. The best place to catch all that will be my Twitter page, twitter.com slash plays. I'm going to try to always keep something new up there, even if I don't have a new episode coming up. You'll always be able to see the latest thing I've been working on. If it's a screenshot, if it's inspiration from the real world, there will always be something up there more frequently than the once a week episode posting here on YouTube. Now let's talk a little bit about the city I'm going to build. Let's talk about what it's going to look like, where I'm going to get my inspiration. I already mentioned the Pacific Northwest, but I'm going to be looking for anything that strikes me as an efficient city, a livable city, a clean city. And to that end, it's probably going to be a grid city, somewhat. You can't escape that. And that's because overall, the, my overarching goal is going to be to create a realistic looking city. I would love it if I could create a Simtograph map of my city and hold it up against any number of cities in the United States or perhaps even across the world and not necessarily have anyone immediately know that this was created in a video game. It's my utmost goal not only to have the map look accurate and thus the roads look accurate, but to have any particular shot from any particular vantage point, whether it be from the mountains looking at nature, whether it be from an inner city street looking down an alley, I would love it if it looked like someone drew a picture or captured into software a real city street or a real city skyline or even just a real mountainside. That's my goal. And to that end, obviously that involves a ton of detail, a lot of patience and hard work and a lot of comparisons to real world. I spend a lot of my time while building cities and city skylines with Google Earth open on my second monitor or even just Google Images or Google Street View because I want what I build to look 
just like the real thing. I want it to be such that if graphics were no object, you would have no idea if you're looking at a real scene or something simulated in a video game. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's going on on screen. You can see I've been working on this one particular mountainside for quite some time, and as I mentioned, I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible. I've used some conifer trees off the Steam Workshop and a careful examination of real life maps of the Pacific Northwest to try and place these trees in ways that represent the way they would grow in real life, in valleys and in clumps together as opposed to scattered about as if you took a large brush and sent it across the entire map. Now in a minute you'll notice that I flatten a large portion of the map and pretty much start from scratch. You'll see that here. And I did that because I took a look at what I had built, what the mountainside there, the river, and I didn't like it. It did not look realistic enough for me. This is a, a highlight of what you may see in the future as far as bulldozing or erasing previous work just to make it to make it look better and so as you can see here I flattened almost two-thirds of the map and decided to start over and I think it came out a lot better you'll see here in a little while the reason I think I did so was because not only did I look at real maps Google Earth maps overhead views I looked at contour maps. It occurred to me that in the Terraform tool, we have access to these contour lines. So one thing I noticed when I began to look at these contour lines on real mountains, and even look at the contour lines in game from mountains that I think looked okay, such as the mountainside that I had forested before, I noticed that there were very few closed lines, or very few lines that form an ellipse or a circle and come back upon themselves, most of the contour lines emanate downward from a central peak and don't close in on themselves unless they are at that peak. Now this mountain range I'm building now was my effort to mimic that, to easily create several mountain peaks with a continuous contour line from one side of the map to the other. And you'll see I use a couple different techniques. The even slope tool was somewhat useful in flattening out the terrain in an even way such that the contour lines did not intersect. But you'll see as I go along, it took a bit of work to meld a couple peaks together, uh, take the mountain and make it not just a triangle that the slope tool will give you. But in the end, I think it came out well. The video will start cutting ahead a little bit. I apologize for all the jump cuts, but I figured you would not want to watch all 10 hours of me doing this. But as we move forward, you'll notice that the mountains come together quite well. I adhered to this no intersecting contour lines procedure, and I think the result was quite good. Uh, especially once I forested the mountains, everything seemed to look realistic, which as we discussed is, is my goal. Now, since I have a few minutes, I'll take this time to take care of a few more logistics. I will be putting both the map and all of the assets I use in a collection on the Steam Workshop. You can see the link to that in the description below. That includes the map theme. For those of you who watch Strict Toaster, you may think this looks a little bit familiar, and you are correct. This is Strict Toaster's 4K theme. I'm using it because it's the closest thing to what I want. It's not exact. It doesn't quite fit what I'm looking for, but it's very close. And frankly, I do not know yet the best way to modify map themes 
to accomplish what I'm looking for. So in the meantime, while I figure that out, uh, we'll use Strict Toaster's 4K theme, and it is quite beautiful. The modifications I would like are really quite minor. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. There's a little bit more time lapse, and I will leave you with some music for that. When it's over, I will rejoin you, and we can take a live look at the map. We can look at things in non-sped-up mode. And we can talk about plans for the next episode, plans for the city in general, and perhaps some names for the mountain ranges, for the ocean, and other things that may help give the city a realistic vibe. Part of my goal of making things realistic is not only to make it look realistic, but to make it feel realistic with names and backstories, anything that a real city has. I would like a piece of it just to try and make the area feel livable, feel real. Well, that's the end of the time lapse commentary. Stick around for a live look at what we built and some final thoughts. Shed a gray to the rhymes, yeah, the black and white And you're tired, looking up to the sky while you cry Asking why, blind God And I don't walk on water across the sea But damn, I'm fly Love, well damn, goodbye No hood, or oh, damn, you shy No truth, but damn, you lie No sight, but damn, you blind You looking right, you a dancer, right? Do you bite, you a cancer, right? I ain't good with astrology and all that jazz but you making me see stars with all that ass once you hear the trumpet, it's game over pushing daisies This is insanity, the complex of our sound And we don't wanna talk about it, we just wanna get down It's good energy, the most contagious melody Too hot to touch, hot, third degree Fantastic, off the wall Four fingers in the air if you're chillin' with a quad Go crazy, get stupid Go baby, just lose it Don't let them stop you moving. Just listen to the music Go crazy, get stupid Go baby, just lose it Don't let them stop you moving. Just listen to the music Go crazy, get stupid Go baby, just lose it Don't let them stop you moving. Just listen to the music Go crazy, get stupid Go baby, just lose it Don't let them stop you moving. Okay.
Welcome everyone to a Simi Bay. As you can see, I think it came out fantastic. I think these mountains look realistic. I think the forests look realistic. I think perhaps there's a little more work to do in the valley, but seeing as how that's where the city will be, I'm not too worried about it. You may notice the only connection is a single highway. That was on purpose. I wanted to keep this map available on the Steam Workshop to those who didn't want to subscribe to a ton of mods, so the only connection I built was the only connection that I intend there to be in an unmodded sense, three lane highway. The other connections I intend are several national roads, for example in my testing I've built one along the coastline here through the forest, along the hills, across this creek, which I think came out fantastic. And in, again, in my testing, I built this national road. It came right over there, a little bridge, around and out, and I think it just looked amazing. It looked just like coming up a small highway on the Pacific coast. You come around, can't see anything around the edge. You just have woods and hills. Come around the corner. And what I'm imagining is as you come out of these woods around the corner here, we have our large city built in the middle of this valley with the backdrop of the mountains. I think it'll look fantastic. I'm so excited to get started. Now, the other connections I intend, which are not built yet, another national highway. You can see the footprint for it here. Another scenic mountain pass. You can just imagine driving through a winding highway and out into a second valley. That'll be one of the first few things we build once we have access to our mods. I intend another highway to come in from up here where I built a small river emptying into the bay. We'll have another probably national highway if not a two-lane highway with a nice road. Oh look at that lighting. It's fantastic. There's a good shot. Yes I just took a screenshot. So we'll have another highway that comes around, another nice bridge, follows the coastline. You can imagine, again, driving with the mountains to your left. Man, isn't this theme fantastic? Look at that lighting off the rocks. This is what I was talking about, with realistic looking scenery, realistic looking cities. I hope my cities can live up to just the way that nature looks like this. You can clearly see, you can clearly imagine this if you're driving along the Pacific Coast seeing something like this. Anyway, we'll have a highway coming along here, along the edge of the bay, probably connecting with the highway from the pass, the highway along the bay on this side, build our downtown somewhere in here. I have a few plans, but I have to keep something secret. We'll also end up building some rail. I intend on having our initial rail connection be just a single track using the, I don't remember the name of the mod, one of Bloody Penguin's mods, one-way tracks I believe. I have some one-way tracks coming in here, possibly down here as well. Some farmyards, farmlands down in here. I'm excited, this this looks good. Man, I'm just I'm flabbergasted how well this came out. 
maybe build some hiking trails up the mountain. Again, this will just be a wonderful way to look out, see the city, see the suburbs framed by the mountains on the other side. I'm excited. Anyway, this was episode one of A Simi Bay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am to get started. Remember to follow me on Twitter if you want an update before next week. Twitter.com slash plays. And until then, please give a thumbs up if you liked. Subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. My name is Rotype, and I'll see you next time.